Hi, my name is Chelsea Spence, and the article that I was assigned to was titled Time Flies. And in that article, uh, an activity was discussed that was centered toward third grade, which was excellent because I teach third grade, so I appreciated that. Um, and the activity that was discussed really did a, uh, did a great job of integrating social studies and primarily mathematics, um, where it introduced to students the history of time. So it discusses with students how civilization went on before the mechanical clock um, had ever been invented. And initially, um, it introduces the idea of a sundial, which I had heard of and knew a little bit about. And I've actually watched some videos on how sundials were created in third grade classrooms. So I kind of made that connection. Um, after the sundial, then came the water clocks and the sand clocks. And so this particular activity, um, introduced to students the idea of a water clock. And I appreciated um, that the activity included a, a brief description on how to set up a very um, minimalist water clock because to be honest, even though I had heard of water clocks, I really had no idea how to set them up. Um, and so you would show students how to create a very simple water clock using just a styrofoam cup um, and a water and some very basic materials. And then once you introduce that, um, and they did a little research on the history of water clocks and sundials and kind of learn some of that background information, then you would give them the kind of new problem, which would be to create a water clock that kept time up to five minutes that included not one uh, styrofoam cup, but actually four styrofoam cups. Um, and so based off your initial model uh, that you had we shown um, them and kind of went through step by step how to create that very simple water clock. They'd have to kind of add on to that um, to create a clock that kept time up to five minutes. And I really like this idea um, because one of the major math units that I teach has to do with telling time. And so I thought it was a great way to incorporate social studies into a math um, class and especially because my uh, school district uses the hybrid model approach so they every day have a 30 minute chunk of time where they're working on a collaborative activity I thought this would be a great idea for them um, during that that time unit in math to kind of connect social studies and learn a little bit more about how civilization functioned prior to mechanical clocks um, what I also loved about it was the activity was fairly simple and the materials are very very inexpensive and it really did not take much to set up um, and it also introduced students to the design process so um, that was kind of what i took away from the article titled time flies all right thanks